the Turf Tiger 2 has over a thousand hours now. <laughs> things are going to start to wear out and they're going to break here and there, right? Just like every mower. So one of the things that goes bad after you've had your machines for 500 hours or more, the tensioner pulley, okay? The bearings seem to go out in these often. Some machines, some uh, brands, you just buy a new pulley itself and that fixes the problem. Skag has a different way to do things, all right? Let me show you real quick. When these two bearings go bad, inside this piece right here, it's a very simple fix to get them out. So we've already taken the belt off, undone the spring, and it's just here. This bolt is the only bolt that you need to undo. It's right here, and you go underneath the deck, locate it, and take it off. Once this is off, this arm just picks up nice and easy, okay? So when we're ready to knock these old bearings out, you're gonna need a one inch socket, a one inch socket. It fits perfect right on top of that. Hmm? This thing needs to be knocked out. So you take your hammer, nice big one, and you simply stop right now. Do not listen to that idiot that's talking to you about how to get that little piece out on the upside down part. That's not the way you do it, all right? So you gotta get a bolt that fits right down into the bearing and knocks that little guide pin out. Man, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes you gotta throw in this little quick edit. So I'm gonna show you real quick. That bearing is one that came out and when I had that guide pin in there, you just find a bolt that slides right into the bearing and then tap it with a hammer. And then that little piece will drop out and then you flip it back over. All right, back to the idiot that was talking wrong. This is not what I did. I used the guide pin that I just showed you that knocks that piece down and out, not that socket. And then you take it and you flip it. So once we flip it upside down, this piece right here is gonna be off, all right? It just, that's just the guide bushing, okay? This will be gone. This socket will fit right inside, boom. It'll fit right perfectly in there. You simply put the socket on there and drive downwards, okay? Make sure this is off, obviously. Stick it in, beat it hard, and the bearings will come out. Once these old bearings are out, it's very simple to use your press on your workbench to seat the two new bearings. Slip the first one in, seat it completely. Put the second one in, seat it completely. It's very simple. Then you flip it back over, put that piece back on there, and you're good to go. So like I stated before, this one bolt and nut is the only thing that holds this arm on the machine. The pulley itself never came off the arm. Those two bearings were inside that piece. It's all put back together now and nice and straight and flush. There it is, very, very simple fix. And please, please do not waste your money and do not create downtime for yourself by taking your mower to the shop for this repair. Simple, simple stages. Watch the video. If you have any questions about what was on it, put it in the comments. I'll reply back. All right. Y'all be good if you can. Always be kind and love each other. Above all, love each other. Elite Landscapes. Peace.